And a very, very good Sunday morning to you from Old Riga. And uh, welcome to another random public transport journey. Today it's going to be a random bus journey. And it's going to be bus number three, chosen completely at random to a place. And once again, let me apologize firstly to any Latvian speakers here, because I'm sure I'm going to absolutely murder this, but this is to uh, Dal Gav Grievous. Dal Gav Grievous. Um, I've got to take a walk to the bus stop now, which is about seven minutes walk away towards um, past the Lima clock. And, uh, and it picks up from Brevi Bass. Piemin Echelis. <laughs> Something like that. Um, I've got a bit of uh, water in my eyes. I can't even read my own handwriting properly there, so double apologies for getting that completely wrong. Um, I don't really know what's at the other end. It looks like there's going to be a park, potentially some sort of derelict or ruined fort. So I'll be interested to see what there is once, once we finally get there. Uh, yesterday I did a random tram journey to an area called Milglavis. I think that's pronounced and um, well yeah it was uh, the end of a tram line had a bit of a walk around there and ended up in the really beautiful uh, Mesa Parks uh, and then back from Mesa Parks eventually took a replacement bus for a tram back into the cities that's on a separate video if you want to have a look at that <coughs> Let's see what today brings. So I'm going to head to the bus bus stop now. Bus number three to the end of the line and uh, see what it's like in Balgav Grievous. <laughs> Please correct me in the comments section. Riga is uh, quite a party town. It was uh, quite lively in the town last night and uh, as a consequence it's fairly quiet this morning it's just starting to wake up a bit now it's 9:30. 30. Uh, i popped out to the shops earlier on and it was like a ghost town but it's a really uh, beautiful day for a walk so i'm hoping that uh, the end of the line will be somewhere nice to have a walk in this uh, rather cold sunshine but uh, yeah in the old Riga now into the newer part of the city. And just walking up, that's the uh, Lima clock, which apparently, as I've said before, is um, something akin to the clock at Waterloo Station in London where you would uh, use that as a meeting point. Apparently that's the one that you will meet out in here in Riga if you're ever going to meet someone. Uh, this is the uh, Freedom Monument. Uh, again I've not been past this yet in uh, in the dark but certainly a year ago it was being lit up in the blue and yellow of Ukraine and perhaps still is. Yesterday there were two uh, military personnel on sentry duty just in front of it but they're not there at the moment as you can see. Maybe they just come at certain times of the day or certain days of the week or indeed maybe yesterday was a, a um, certain day of the year, I, I, I don't know but there were, there were two guard, guards on sentry duty yesterday. Absolutely splendid morning. Perfect for uh, a lovely walk. There goes a trolley bus. I'll be taking one of those tomorrow. I've not decided where to yet, but um, it won't be quite as far. The trolley bus range 
tends not to uh, go out quite as far out into the suburbs as the buses and trams do. But needless to say, I'll take one anyway, see where I end up. And, uh, and uh, take it from there. But anyway, that'll be on a separate video. Subscribe to this one or any, and then you'll be able to see that once it's been posted. The other day when I got here, it was uh, very overcast and rainy. And uh, I say cities always look so much better when the sun's out on beautiful blue skies. Okay, let's go and find this bus. I seem to be coming up towards roughly where the bus stops are. Hopefully I'll see one that says uh, a number three on it. Quite well marked and uh, bus stop signs around here, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find the one I want. Well, that was simple enough. And uh, this is where we are. So when I murdered the pronunciation earlier on, Uh, you can see now what it was I was trying to say and this is uh, that's where we'll be heading to so uh, I think it's about a 35 minute bus journey that's hopefully hopefully one will come along fairly soon it's a uh, Sunday morning 9:58 will be the next bus according to this so not too long to wait now and as if by magic here comes the number three bus Right, so here we are on the number three bus, uh, just travelling out of the centre of Riga, out towards my destination. That's where we are. Uh, okay, so um, bus fares and tram fares, trolley bus fares here in Riga are one pound fifty for a ninety, uh, one euro fifty. I do apologise, one euro fifty for a ninety-minute journey. Um, so you can hop from one to the other to get to your destination. Uh, they also do three day and five day passes which are uh, eight euros for three days ten euros for uh, five days that'll also include the airport bus the number 22 which brings you from the airport to the center of riga uh, if you just buy single journeys on the airport bus that'd be two euros each way so for a further six you can have five days uh, or for a further four you can have um had to do my sums there eh? uh, you can have a further three days uh, it's well, probably well worth it and you can go to the narvison store at the airport and buy and ask for a three or five day ticket which will be eight or ten euros a lot easier you can just hop on and make sure that you every time you hop on a bus tram or trolley bus you validate your ticket and uh, certainly uh, you must also do that if you're buying a single ticket as well, which you can also buy from Narvison shops. Uh, you can't buy tickets on the bus, apart from the airport bus, which you can do, but there's always lots and lots of people, so I don't recommend that either. Anyway, let's sit back, let's enjoy the journey out to um, the end of the line. I don't think you can get away with not buying a ticket. Um, yep, yeah. so the ticket inspector gets on on a Sunday morning. So, uh, yeah, and make sure you validated it because uh, even though you've got a pass for two, uh, th three or five days, uh, you still need to tap it on when you get on.
that, as they say, is that a little ride there on bus number three. Everyone's got off here, and um, well, it looks like there's um, some kind of park or natural area. I'm gonna go and have a look over there and then head back down that way, um, either through the park or, or along the road. Um, two or three stops further back on the bus route because I've spotted something that, of interest uh, that's uh, translated or, or looks something like a fort or a, a citadel or something down there. Um, so uh, that might be quite interesting. So I'll, um, that will be my route uh, over here. Have a look and then end up back down there and then jump back on the three back into Riga when uh, all has been seen and done. But uh, we're on an outer, sur outer suburb of Riga here. Let's go and see what there is to see. Of course, without having an understanding of Latvian and uh, without wanting to just uh, spend my entire time looking at the phone trying to translate words, um, the best thing to do is just uh, follow the locals and they appear to be heading off over in that ge general direction over there, over some sort of walkway across a, a little mini lake or lagoon, so that looks quite interesting. Um, I noticed uh, on the bus quite a few families that were uh, wrapped up, ready to, uh, look, looking like they were going out for a walk or somewhere reasonably interesting so um, and they all got off the bus just here so hopefully this appears to be a, just a general car park it's not specifically for the, or the, the, um, the, the apartments around here so I'm feeling this must be an entry point into the park people walking over there which is uh, very encouraging indeed. Right, let's go and ex explore this place. Yes, I can't uh, reiterate these very, very chilly wind this morning as well. So the order of the day will be to certainly uh, keep walking quickly. But the path of Valentine. Interesting information with regards to uh, 
what you can see up the wooden tower here. Uh, but actually, in uh, Latvian and Russian, it's just a list of regulations, how many people are allowed to go up there and don't climb on it or have a fire or uh, stuff like that. So, not really any the wiser, but uh, you'll certainly be a viewing platform for looking at birds amongst all these reeds and across this marshy, marshy area. It's really is, uh, it's quite, quite nice here. Ah, here we go, this, this should explain some more. Right, and that gives us, uh, uh, once I've translated that, there should be a photograph just prior to this of the uh, information on the birds you can see here, the migratory, migratory birds at the Dale Gav Group. Oh, you really must try and learn a little bit more. Dale Gav Griva Lake. crucified that as well so uh, once again my humblest apologies for my awful attempts at trying to speak some Latin. Right, so in terms of random bus journey results, I uh, just put quite high up on the success list. Uh, I was half expecting to end up in some suburb without much interest, but uh, this, is, this is fantastic. So we are coming from everything on this really, some decent binoculars. There is a walk right there. go that further because that's probably the direction I want to be heading in to end up at this citadel or if I'm translating correctly uh, the fortress or citadel over over in that, that general direction over there so we'll get there eventually I guess. Right onwards. Well, right just have a quick check on Google Maps this path leads uh, straight to uh, the Gulf of Riga, which is uh, it's the sea, but it's a bit of an inlet from the main Baltic Sea, and uh, if I'm translating correctly, the beach. What sort of beach it is, I'm not really sure, but we'll uh, get there eventually and, and have a look. But uh, this is certainly a, a really beautiful place to come for a walk, and uh, I imagine this gets absolutely packed out in summertime when the weather's a little bit warmer. Also great for cycling. There's uh, a bit of a bit of walking on uh, with the red red bricks in there. Is actually the cycle track. It's not too many cycling today. It's probably slightly chilly for a bike ride. There's some birds amongst the reeds. So, uh, found a, a little map here. I'll just have a quick look on the Google Translate to try and work out uh, what it all means. That, now that's the path over there, which I've decided I'm going to take that now. 
uh, which does eventually bring you back round to the beach, which is, uh, oh, that's the Bay of Riga, presumably that means. Um, I'm here, and if I carry along the path I was just walking on, so, yeah, I'm going to take this around here and then see what we've got there and either head back this way or continue rightwards when I get to the, the seafront and uh, take it from there. So, right, where's this path start? Over here somewhere. Most people seem to be carrying on towards the seafront rather than going this way. Hopefully I've not made a bad decision here, but this this looks uh, really natural, really natural. This is uh, I'm absolutely delighted by this random selection. Just trying to find out where the wooden walkway starts. Must be nesting birds out here. I'm not sure if that's just wind in the trees or the sea. If it is the sea, then it's quite rough. Uh, but the inlets looks like it's quite enclosed, so I'll be surprised if it's uh, if it's the sea being really rough over there. I don't know if that's coming out on the camera or not, but. Uh, Right, so it's an absolutely stunning morning here. If, you, if you're coming at this time of year when the temperature is barely above freezing, make sure you bring plenty of layers. some of the uh, flora that's uh, available to be seen here. My hand's too cold, so I can Google Translate just at the moment. Interesting little wooden path this actually, You'd, uh, it's not very wide and uh, it wouldn't be difficult to, if you're not paying attention, to fall off it. It's not much of a drop but uh, nevertheless, <laughs> pay attention if you walk along this and uh, if you meet someone coming the other way then uh, be particularly careful. It's fantastic though, really good. actually floating in parts like just uh, yeah just here you can feel a slight bit of movement in it I won't go as fast to say it's wobbly but it's uh, there's, a, there's a slight bit of give just at this point where the where you're actually going over water Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm British. I'll go, the, go around the left. Go this way around the roundabout. Uh, 
Uh, before I started this, uh, set off on this little trip this morning, uh, when I was back in Old Riga, I uh, went to the shop to go get a few provisions, and um, then when I got back, I was uh, deciding should I put a hat on, should I put my woolly hat on, should I take my gloves with me because it didn't seem too bad in the city but wow boy am I glad I did bring my hat woolly hat and gloves because that's because I keep saying it's a pretty cool breeze blowing across here an absolutely stunning morning though I did actually say on the sign, if I remember correctly, uh, all the do's and don'ts of this this little pathway. I'm pretty sure it said you could take your bike on here. Or maybe it said you shouldn't bring your bike on. I personally, I wouldn't do it because uh, it was very easy just to go over the edge. It must have said don't. I'll, I'll have a look when I get to the other end just to see whether it's suggested you should bring your bike or not. But I personally, I wouldn't do it. Optimum time of year is for coming here and spotting if you're, if you're a pathologist and like looking at birds, this will be a fantastic place to come. Um, but presumably, the certain times of year are better than others. This is springtime, it seems a fair few about, but I imagine there's a peak time. Yeah, that noise in the distance, I'm not sure. If that's the sea, then it really is quite rough. And actually, there is a, a fine coating of ice just here on that water. I don't know if that comes out or not. And somebody playing their guitar. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah, well these guys are sat uh, playing the guitar just there. Uh, it's because we're within the trees now. It's uh, the temperature seems about five or six degrees warmer in here. I'm intrigued by that noise. I can't believe the sea's that rough in the uh, Bay of Riga. So. Uh, Seems to be coming up to towards the end of this now and what appear to be sand dunes, so right. <laughs> Actually at this point you're almost it's sunk into the water a little bit. It's not a, Yeah, there's a little bit of give. Right, so that's the end of the little walkway through the wetlands there. And um, had I carried on on the path that I was originally on, I would have taken a right turn at the end of that and presumably just come along here. Uh, when you look on the map, there is no pathway along the sea, sea edge, on Google Maps anyway, but the path of the is now sand dunes. I think we can see the sea over this hill. And the wind is going to increase somewhat. Ah, yeah, it was the sea I could hear. That's, that is, uh, Well, it's not rough, but it's... Uh... So 
this is called Vakabuli Beach. Uh, again, apologies if I pronounce that completely incorrectly. I'm going to walk back in the direction of the where I'd have come out had I stayed on the pathway and cycle track earlier on. Um, it doesn't look a particularly long beach. I'm going to walk down to the uh, far north end, I guess. Um, just to the little point along there somewhere um, and then come back and carry on that way, which definitely isn't very far. There's a, a lighthouse that you can see there. Uh, which is near to where uh, I was going to aim for to jump on the bus back again but I'm certainly not going to miss this opportunity for a beautiful walk along the beautiful beach uh, I should think it's summer it's absolutely packed on here on a nice warm summer's day but trust me, even in summer that seawater is uh, it's not the Mediterranean, put it like that if you're a hardy soul and you like to uh, you like to show how manly you are, then by all means jump in. Just don't make any girly squeals when you get in there. I'm not sure I should have said that, but you know, there's nobody in there today. That's for sure. Right, I shall take a few photos as I move along and. Uh, I'll come back to you later on once I've headed back from the point down here and uh, back towards the bus stop and uh, a novice and hopefully grab a coffee before I set off back into Old Riga. But this is this is certainly a place to come for a really good solid walk here on a Sunday morning. Um, it's quite a long piece of beach this and absolutely gorgeous I'm just going to walk for as long as I feel um, uh, until I'm ready to turn back in the other direction the only thing that's putting me off from going back in the other direction at the moment is uh, I'll be straight into the wind I've got the wind behind me at the moment which is uh, making it feel a lot less cold when you get to the end of this beach, there's, uh, you come to a kind of a river outlet, estuary or whatever. Over the other side of the estuary is a place called Yermala, which also has a beautiful beach, very similar to this actually, uh, the town or city of Yermala. If you ever want to go there, you can get a train. Um, there are probably a buses too, but uh, the train would be the way to go there. But uh, this is... Uh, Absolutely gorgeous beach. Thoroughly enjoying this walk along here. This is by no means a whinge because um, I do recognise different characteristics of different nationalities and so on. But uh, if, there were, if I was walking on a beach, a beach in uh, the United Kingdom, and uh, or down a country walk or whatever, and uh, I met people coming in the other direction. Nearly everyone would acknowledge the other person, say good morning, good afternoon, whatever. Not 100% not all of the time, but most of the time, a little nod, maybe a smile, a quick hello, uh, even maybe a conversation. But here, no, everyone keeps their head down. If you get a, 
a mere tiny little nod to you doing quite well, I always find. And, and, it's, and it's strange because whenever I've spoken to um, any Latvians and asked them a question, us, uh, they're, they're the friendliest, the most hospitable of people. It's, 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 just, um, it's just something that uh, I notice. Um, I've noticed this in Poland as well. Again, extremely friendly and hospitable people. But you don't get that kind of, it's, it must be a British thing, I think. Comment if you think uh, I'm talking nonsense. Um, maybe I just look weird or something and they, and they don't want to look, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but as I say, whenever I've spoken to any Latvians, uh, just uh, for a quick chat or ask them about something, they've been the most helpful and friendly uh, people around. So uh, I, I, I don't always understand Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a historical thing from days gone by, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe someone could tell me. But it's, uh, it's a beautiful country and if you really uh, want a bit of everything, maybe not extraordinarily hot sunshine, Mediterranean warm sea, uh, but something that's pretty natural uh, and rural and not too commercialised and this is absolutely ideal. There's some fantastic walks here, some great places to, and I'm in overtaken now. I need some sticks, <laughs> go quicker. Long Beach, very long in fact, and um, walking back in that direction towards the lighthouse probably won't be quite as delightful because it's straight into quite a cold wind. So I've just had a quick look on, on uh, Google and when you get to the end of the beach uh, there's a little town or village something and the buses seem to run from there which will take me back to near where that lighthouse is and where I believe there's the Riga fortress which sounds quite interesting so I'm going to just go in this direction hopefully get a bus back to uh, where I was uh, earlier on uh, just beyond there where there's a Narvason and that should be fairly close to the fortress go and have a look at that and then jump back on the number three back into Riga. So um, that's the plan. As always with these random trips you have to, uh, you know, just uh, go with the flow really and see what you find. And this is absolutely stunning. I cannot tell you how nice this is. And if you don't mind walking along a, a longer beach with a pretty cool breeze blowing off it, uh, I'm certainly going to look forward to something sweet later on and a hot coffee after this. That's going to be absolutely well earned and fantastic. But there's no donut in the world, not even a Greg's caramel and custard that would get me going in that sea today, trust me. Right, onwards, onwards. I think we have a plan. I think this is um, 
probably the main access point, or well, one of the main access points for the, for the beach if you're driving here down that way. Um, appears to be, if you can see that, a Uh, sort of a shack and a small building that I presume in the summer months when there's a lot more people that's open to business selling drinks and so on there's uh, absolutely nothing there at the moment drink your own is my advice not flask something sweet and sugary to give you energy yeah this this is probably one of the main access points, there's some volleyball nets over there as well, that are actually up. Uh, look out post, maybe lifeguards, that will only be here in summer. up there brilliant still a beach though guys they love it yeah that seems to be a main access point there with a the map uh, that's probably where I'll end up walking back to I guess to jump on a bus but I'll carry on this way see where it takes me okay uh, we've uh, got virtually to the end of uh, Vakabulu, again apologies for the pronunciation, beach. Um, and as I said earlier on, I'm not going to walk back towards that lighthouse. I'm going to uh, check on Google in a moment, find the nearest way to get to the road inland there and grab a bus and then go to the Riga Fortress and have a look around there. Hopefully that will be of interest. Now, this is the, the inlet I mentioned estuary from a river just here and just over there where you can see the sandy beaches in the distance is Yermola which is not Riga it's somewhere else and uh, to get there um, my understanding anyway is uh, the best way would be by train from the central station in Riga there are there are buses but the bus passes um, that I mentioned earlier on won't take you quite that far. Alternatively, of course, you could swim across there. Um, let me know when you're doing it and please uh, post a video so we can all laugh or see. So um, the beaches over in Yermala are pretty much the same as the ones here. So that's the end of the walk on the beach. Uh, this has been massively unexpected. I wasn't expecting it to be anything like as fantastic as this. I'm going to uh, hit Google in a sec, find out which way whether I need to walk back down the beach a little bit or I can carry on around this corner and uh, pick up a bus and uh, I'll. Um, I'll start filming again when I get to uh, get to the fortress, I think, unless I see something of interest along the way. Stay with me. A lot more seaweed down here as well. Let's be honest here, if I didn't tell you it was about two degrees Celsius, and that was the Baltic Sea, had a few filters to make it a little bit more turquoise, you'd, uh, you could mistake this for the Caribbean, really. But it's not, it's the Baltic, and that's Yermola over there, and this is Riga, or the district of Riga. And uh, I've got to walk through these woods in that general direction find some sort of defined pathway uh, to find this bus. 
that's not the kind of place you could get lost in fairly easily. I think I'm going to follow that family there, I think. They look like they know where they're going. And again, maybe they're not going to where I want to. We shall see. It's nice to get in from the um, blistering wind on the beach as well. Yeah, there's a defined footpath here, so that's it. Okay, I'll see you from the bus. Just following Google Maps through this, these woods and uh, just in the distance through the trees, I can just kind of see something glistening like a car or whatever. So I think I'm probably going to get to a car park fairly soon. I'm another, about another five minutes walk from where Google is telling me there's going to be a bus stop. So um, fingers crossed there will be. But this is a, this is a truly stunning place with the uh, sand dunes, the beach, and now. The the, um, the wetlands to walk around and also this forest absolutely brilliant and uh, it's not packed out either it's really quite warm inside here as well compared with uh, uh, when you're in the wind it's a bit of a, a bit sharp to say the least so yeah I can see a car park just through there so I think probably from there down to the road and there'll be some sort of bus stop along there. <clears throat> Don't travel without your phone and Google. Brilliant. You can at least keep you pointed in the right direction, generally speaking. If you know what direction you want to travel in, of course. Okay, let's, uh, let's find a bus and head to the Riga Fortress. This is intriguing me now. Right, so um, I'm just going to go and here's the bus stop. I'm just going to go and check the timetable that will be posted there. But it's looking like I just missed the bus by about five minutes, and there's not another one for 55 minutes. So I've just looked how long it'll take me to walk. To the fortress from here and that's going to be best part of two hours um, so wait an hour and then it's about a 20 minute bus ride or walk for two I think I'll probably have a look around this village hopefully there'll be a little shop open where I can grab a coffee and come back to this bus stop in about 55 minutes time and um, I've got absolutely no idea what's here This is the, the end of the line, and uh, it's, it doesn't really tally with. That's hmm, interesting. Yeah, actually, I've, um, the last one was at 12.29. It's now 1,300, so I've missed it by about half an hour. I was going to say, I didn't, I didn't hear any buses pulling away. Well, I was just coming out of the woods there. Uh, next one at 13.55. So, yeah, 55 minutes to wait. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's see what there is around here. Possibly not very much, but... Um, This is the village of Vakobuli. It doesn't look like there's too much here. Uh, 
There is some other village about, probably about a 45 minute walk down the road that might have a shop or something, but uh, it's not really worth the risk of doing that. I'm gonna get to go down here to the waterfront and just uh, take a rest for a little while. I've got a sandwich in my bag and a drink and uh, just watch, uh, watch the world go by and uh, try to make sure I'm back in time for that bus. Rural Latvia, ladies and gentlemen. Right, just having a closer inspection of the, the um, Google Maps. It says something that seems to translate as sculpture park or sculpture parks. So I'll be interested to see what that is. I'd have time just to nip down here and, and have a look. Um, so, yeah. Absolutely splendid. Beautiful day. It's, uh, it's noon now, so this is probably as about as warm as it's going to get today. Probably got up to um, about four Celsius now, I think, out of the wind. from Riga Airport here. All right, this uh, appears to be the sculpture park. Interesting. It's beautiful houses here. I'm not gonna film them because uh, I've not got permission. Some of the houses have got quite big dogs in there. I don't know what's these, uh, these are interesting. Guessing these are um, a work in progress. Um, this uh, looks like, uh, yeah, large rocks and boulders over there ready to be sculpted, and uh, some tools. talking to a, a small group. I don't know exactly what he's saying, or in fact I don't know anything of what he's saying, he's talking in Latvian. Um, presumably on a Sunday you can come down here and... What an absolutely amazing place. Enhanced, I have to say, by the, the, the beautiful sunshine and the crystal clear air that there is today. Well, what an amazing random trip this has turned into me. Absolutely incredible. This is why you should never ever be cross or angry or upset if you just miss a bus or just miss a train when you're just exploring because without that 
you wouldn't come across places like this. If uh, I'd arrived 30 minutes earlier, the bus would have been sat there at the bus stop, I'd have jumped on it, and I'd have never ever been aware of this place, let alone visited it. And it's absolutely astounding. The person that's done this, which uh, I'm presuming is the gentleman over there talking to uh, a small group, uh, is responsible for some, if not all, of these sculptures. And uh, this is why when you travel, travel with an open mind, my friends, travel with the expectation of finding something of interest somewhere. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits by today. I couldn't have hoped for any more. And uh, the Riga Fortress awaits in about uh, 30 odd minutes time when the bus comes. Hopefully that'll be of interest to her. I'm just gonna spend some time here just taking in this absolutely incredible atmosphere. blown away by this place, I truly am. Thank you bus for going half an hour early. <laughs> oh thank you for me being half an hour late and an hour to wait. Great place, I'm going to sit and have a sandwich and uh, a drink and just take in the uh, fresh air of this place. Absolutely fantastic. If you come to Riga, come here. Definitely, definitely get on the bus and come out here for a walk. See the beach, see the wetlands see the forest and um, get to the end of the beach and come and see this place. Absolutely amazing. Right, so uh, that number 36 bus came on time and um, back down to uh, I'm not even going to attempt to say that but uh, this is where I'll then later on pick up the number three bus back to the city centre and there seem to be about four an hour so there's going to be no long wait for that so I'm going to try and find this fortress have a quick look around there and uh, then call it a day and head back in what a great random bus journey this, is, this has turned out to be. Number three, highly recommend it when you come to Riga. Just got to find the way to the fortress now. Cross this road, I think. Right, well, here we are at the uh, Riga fortress. Um, now, just walk past a few kind of derelict buildings and sites that seem to trans with signs on, on the outside that seem to translate as state military zone and a few signs saying no videos, no photography and no drones. But uh, up here at this uh, fortress which appears to have a moat around it as well, uh, there's no signs so it should be okay here. Looks like it's uh, just been turned into a park to wander around. Tad derelict, so I'm thinking you probably can't go up it, but if you can, I'm sure we'll head up it. But uh, I have a feeling it looks like 
Sarkin's an old time since anyone was allowed to go up there. Well, clearly a lookout tower. What was? There's not much signage in here, I have to say, or any anything to give you some information about the history of the place. Uh, it's um, kind of a derelict fortress, really. Quite a few people walking about, and I'm sure it's got a lot of uh, historic significance. in here so I think we're probably okay. thoughts about this place is oh, <laughs> what it could do with some lighting. And two, it could be turned into quite an attraction. And certainly that centre area where the tower is could be somewhere that could be used for concerts and so on. What an interesting place. help thinking if this was Berlin then this would be a club and that would be a stage or there would be DJ decks on there and it would be a really cool place to come to as it happens is a cool place to come to but in a much much different different much more different way there's a lot of history in these walls so summing up today uh, I randomly chose the bus route, had a look along the bus route to make sure there looked like there was going to be, was going to be something of interest. And it's, um, it's certainly exceeded my expectations by a very long way. I'm going to try a trolley bus ride tomorrow, so there'll be another video out for that. And if it's as half as successful, as this one then I shall be very very pleased indeed. I'm gonna finish looking around here now. I was hoping there might be a coffee shop but absolutely not. <laughs> it's great that you can just wander around though more or less anywhere it's not uh, apart from the walk up from the road to the fortress where you go past a few kind of old buildings and things but uh, clearly marked as military zones and not, not to take any photos, so. but in here's fine. Oh, that 
absolutely amazing place. With luck to go and Rikara. Right, so that is the Riga Fortress visited. What an absolutely excellent day out. Some fantastic things seen from a random bus journey. I couldn't be happier. So tomorrow I'm gonna to try the same again on a trolley bus and uh, see where I end up. So that's uh, bye from me. I'm going to head back to the bus now, head back into Riga and get myself a well-earned cup of coffee.